When I started my business 1995, it was very difficult. I had an idea. I invited 24 of my friends in my apartment because that year I went to Seattle, first time, my first trip to the USA. I never touched computer in my life before because computer was so expensive to me and so complicated. After two hours of explaining what I'm going to do, internet, and 23 of them say, forget it. He said, this thing never worked because there's no such thing called internet in the world. You know nothing about a computer. So why you want to do this? And um, only one people, he said, Jack, if you want to try it, just to try it. But if there's something wrong, just come back. And uh, after a whole night thinking, I say, I still want to do it. Because most of the people, they have a fancy ideas in the evening, but in the day, when they wake up in the evening, or in the morning, they go back to do the same job. We have to do something different. So from there, I started my business borrowing 2,000 US dollars from my relatives and friends. So that was my trip. I call myself like a blind man riding on the back of blind tigers. And those people who are expert of riding horses, they all fall down and I'm still surviving. Since 1995 I started the business, I, I almost failed every project, never survived. None of us has money. But if, if somebody say, I give you one million US dollars and I give you trust, which one I would choose? I choose those people who give me the trust because it's the trust that make, make us be united. When I go to the China red company registration office, I said, I want to register a company called Hanzo Hope Internet Company. <laughs> The guy looked at me and say, this is the English dictionary. Tell me there's no, there is no word called the internet. Why you want to register a company called the internet? So I cannot register a name, company name in order to prove I was not lying. I invited my friend who is a TV man. Take the TV camera, they all stay in my home and we they just try to take the picture. I, I, I die from Hangzhou to Shanghai, Shanghai to America to connect the internet. It took us three hours and a half to download the first front page. So every, I have to make like a hundred stars to keep my journalist friends to stay and wait because to prove that I'm not telling a lie. For the first three years of Alibaba, we had a no revenue, no business model. From 1999, we have 18 founders to now we have a close to 60,000 people. Our sales uh, called GMV last year is over 550 billion US dollars. And uh, it's just the beginning. We will probably go across uh, 1 trillion US dollars in three years. We do not think we are a company. We think we are economy. And we hope in 20 years, by year 2036, we will be the fifth largest economy of the world. I've been saying this to my team since when we were in the apartment. When we were in the apartment, I say, guys, in the next 10 years or in, in, in the future, Alibaba will be the top 10 websites of the world. And my founders look at me and say, what does 10, number 10 mean? Today we are ranking like a 500 million something at the back. But you have to believe it. I think as an entrepreneur, if everything is ready, that does not need you. Because nothing is ready, that needs entrepreneurship. When Netscape was so good, we never thought it would disappear. Yahoo was good, we never thought like it today. So don't believe you'll be good all the time. Be paranoid just to finish the first 100 meters yet. Do not think the people beside you is a competitor. Running for another 3,000 meters, then you know who is a competitor. So I thought when I'm 40, I can go back to teach. But when I'm 40, oh my God, life was so tough, so tough. My company almost in big trouble. So I said, I should not leave. And then I say, when I'm 45, 
I should retire. When I'm 45, I cannot stop it. And then I start to prepare, say, people say, Jack, you are the next Bill Gates. I say, I cannot compete with Bill Gates, but I can compete with Bill Gates who can retire earlier. The thing is, I don't want to die in my office. I want to die on the beaches. I was trained to be a teacher and I benefit because I don't know, know anything about technology, computing. I still puzzle about what is soft, how soft it can work. And I, I do not know about con, con, you know, accounting, marketing. I know very little about that. But the thing I learned from being a teacher, that you, a teacher, always want his students to be more successful and better than you are. So this is, I learned to be a good CEO. Look at the young man. If you think he will be your boss, he will be my boss in five years, hire him. As an entrepreneur, today is very difficult and tomorrow is even more difficult. But the day of tomorrow is very beautiful. Most people die tomorrow evening. You have to work hard, you have to learn, you have to rely on your team.